The items that you will need to calibrate your Masterflex LS variable speed digital drive will be a beaker or container of water, a graduated cylinder, Masterflex pump head, and Masterflex tubing. For this calibration, we are using size LS15 silicone tubing. As you can see, we already have these items set up to perform the calibration. The clamps and stands are not necessary elements, but they do help to make setup and calibration easier. We also dyed the water red in order to make it more visible. Feel free to use any method that will work safely and conveniently for you. The first thing that you will need to do is turn on the drive. Go to the main menu by selecting the setup icon and pressing the enter key. Use the up and down arrow keys until tubing cal is highlighted, then press the enter key. Set the drive for the desired flow direction, tube size, and flow rate. It is best to calibrate your tubing at the flow rate that you will be using in your application. This will ensure optimum accuracy when pumping. The calibration volume is fixed and cannot be changed. Press and hold the prime key to prime the pump and fill the tubing with water. Water in the graduated cylinder should be emptied back into the beaker to ensure an accurate measurement during the calibration process. Once this is done, highlight the start field and press the enter key to begin the calibration. After the pump is stopped, read the amount in the graduated cylinder. Be sure to read the bottom of the meniscus in order to obtain accurate results. After reading the volume in the cylinder, the Cal volume field will be highlighted. Press the enter button and adjust the volume to match your result. The volume that was pumped in our example was 194 milliliters. Then press the enter button once more to confirm your value. Empty the cylinder back into the beaker and run the calibration again to ensure that the pump has adjusted correctly. If you find that it is still inaccurate, you should repeat the calibration sequence until you receive an accurate calibration in your cylinder. In our example, a second calibration was necessary. This time, we got a volume of 181 milliliters. We adjust the volume as we did before and run the calibration a third time to check the pump's accuracy. This time the calibration was successful and we received 180 milliliters. Highlight exit and press enter to lock in the calibration. From here you can leave the main menu by scrolling down to exit and pressing enter. This will take you back into the mode you were previously in. At this point you will see a small C in the bottom left hand corner which indicates that the pump has been calibrated. If you find that your calibration volumes are varying significantly, Make sure you follow the break-in procedure for your tubing, running it at full speed for 10 minutes.